So today, Anthropic just revoked all OpenAI developers' API access to Claude. Not suspended, not warned, full stop, access denied. This was basically the digital equivalent of changing the locks on them without them knowing about it. Here's what went down. Anthropic discovered that OpenAI wasn't just casually chatting with Claude like the rest of us peasants. No, they were using their API access to systematically test Claude against their own models. They were running benchmarks, safety tests, and asking Claude to write code that would make GPT-5 better at writing code. Think of it like this. Imagine you're developing a new burger recipe and you find out McDonald's has been buying your burgers every day, taking them apart in a lab and reverse engineering your secret sauce. That's essentially what happened here. Now, Anthropic's terms of service are pretty clear about this stuff. You can't use Claude to, quote, build a competing product or, quote, reverse engineer their services. It's like having a, quote, no filming sign in a movie theater. Pretty straightforward. The irony here is delicious. Claude Code has become the go-to coding assistant, so much so that even OpenAI's own developers were using it. Anthropic's spokesperson basically said, yeah, we're flattered that your team prefers our tool, but this is a violation of our terms. Christopher Nolte from Anthropic put it perfectly. Claude Code has become the go-to choice for coders everywhere. And so it was no surprise to learn OpenAI's own technical staff were also using our coding tools ahead of the launch of GPT-5. OpenAI's response was peak corporate diplomatic passive aggression. They basically said, hey, this is industry standard practice and we're disappointed because we still let you use our API. Hannah Wong, OpenAI's chief communications officer said, it's industry standard to evaluate other AI systems to benchmark progress and improve safety. While we respect Anthropic's decision to cut off our API access, it's disappointing considering our API remains available to them. This was essentially OpenAI saying, well, I'm not talking to you either, but you can still sit at my lunch table. Another OpenAI staff member, Aidan McLaughlin, posted a sarcastic tweet, mocking Anthropic's supposed morals. He tweeted, As part of our effort to democratize the fruits of AI and ensure the singularity is helpful, harmless, and honest, we have decided to deny others working on the singularity the ability to chat with our helpful, harmless, and honest model. This isn't new behavior in tech. Facebook famously cut off Twitter's Vine app from accessing Facebook data, which basically killed Vine's growth. Last month, Salesforce restricted competitors from accessing Slack data. It's like a playground where everyone takes their toys and goes home when someone else gets too successful with them. And Anthropic has done this before. Just last month, they cut off Windsurf's access when rumors started flying that OpenAI might acquire them. Anthropic's chief science officer, Jared Kaplan, said it would be odd to be selling Claude to OpenAI. The acquisition fell through, but the message was clear. So what does this mean for the rest of us? Well, it shows that the AI race is getting more competitive and more territorial. These companies are building moats around their technology faster than medieval castle builders. The real question is whether this helps or hurts AI development overall. On one hand, companies need to protect their competitive advantages. On the other hand, this kind of gatekeeping could slow down the collaborative progress that has made AI development so rapid. One thing's for sure, this won't be the last time we see AI companies playing digital keep away with each other. What do you think? Is this just smart business or petty tech drama? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more AI industry news.